a video real fast this morning and I want to talk about five tips that you can use when focusing on mobile home investing. These are five tips that will make you some nice money when investing in mobile homes. Number one, seller financing. So the concept is this. You go ahead and you buy a mobile home uh, for a nice price. Let's say, for instance, you paid three grand for the mobile home. It's an older home, and you bought it in a mobile home park. And so um, you spent $3,000 on it. Um, you also spent another $1,500 in fix up. And so you're into it for $4,500. You turn around and sell it for seven grand on terms. All right? Even $7,500 on terms. $500 down, $275 a month. Let's say 9%, 10% interest to the properties paid off. That's phenomenal. That is a great return on investment. By the time you're done paying for that, by the time your seller is done, I'm sorry, the buyer is done paying for the property, you've made double, if not more, your return. It's a great return. We had a company probably about 20 years ago. I was teaming up with my first mentor, a guy by the name of Mark Craig. We had a hard money lender out in Beverly Hills, California, that wanted to front us $1 million so that we can go ahead and apply that concept. There was a guy, it was a young guy in San Diego, California, about 20 years ago that was destroying the mobile home investing business. And he did great. He did great. And so my mentor at the time had probably over 100 rental properties in San, San, it was San Bernardino County. And the issue was this. He just did not have the time to go ahead and focus on mobile homes and mobile home investing. Had he done that, <laughs> we, we, we'd be beautiful right about now, but that's another story. So that was the first concept uh, would be seller financing. Number two uh, would be to buy a mobile home uh, and rent it out. So you buy the mobile home. Let's say, for instance, you buy the mobile home from a seller on payments. So let's say, for instance, you pay two fifty a month for the mobile home. Let's say three hundred bucks down, two fifty a month, and the lot rent, which would be let's say three hundred dollars a month. So two fifty plus three hundred, five fifty a month, right? So you want to rent it for you know, hopefully working out your numbers, six fifty, seven hundred, seven fifty a month. Nice little positive cash flow, you know. Just just mind your expenses, and hopefully that mobile home doesn't cost you a ton of money to go ahead and fix up. Um, that's number two. Number three would probably be, I would probably go this route if I wanted to go ahead and do rentals. As opposed to renting the mobile home, I would rent rooms within the mobile home. So let's say for you got a three bedroom, two bath mobile home, that same mobile home for that same price, um, five fifty a month you're paying to the seller. What you can do is turn around and rent that property. Okay. Rent rooms. Let's say each room rents for $300 a month. Let's say $350, $350 per room. I mean, think about that. You know, that's over $1,000 a month. But you're paying the seller $550 a month. Some nice cash flow. That's a number three concept. Number four concept would be a lender. Okay. So let's say, for instance, a seller is interested in, um, excuse me, let me phrase that. A buyer is interested in a particular mobile home. Let's say the mobile home cost fifteen thousand, right? You, as the lender or the bank, you go ahead. You say, okay, you're interested in that particular mobile home. I'll go ahead. I'll buy it, and I want you to go ahead and pay me back in payments. Let's say, for instance, the total cost of that is fifteen thousand dollars. They pay you seven hundred dollars down. They also pay you three seventy five, four hundred dollars a month, nine ten percent interest. Until the mobile home is paid off for X amount of years. That way, over a period of time, you're going to make a nice little return on that $15,000 investment if you play the position of a bank. That's phenomenal. Seller financing is, is I mean, it's, it, you can make some really, really nice return, guys. Um, and the fifth way to go ahead and invest in mobile homes would be wholesaling. So you come across a seller that has a nice little mobile home in a particular part. 
they're tired of paying lot rent. Um, they want to sell it for seventy five hundred bucks. You find out that the mobile homes in there go for like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars, right? And so you go ahead and you wholesale that particular mobile home, uh, not necessarily to an, an investor. Um, you can wholesale it to a buyer. And the reason I say that is this. It's, it's kind of like along the lines of wholesaling houses, but you're dealing with more realistic numbers. Remember, I just said $7,500 for a mobile home that runs for, let's say, $12,000, $13,000. There's a lot more people out. You'd be shocked. There's a lot more people out there that have that kind of money than dealing with homes where you're pretty much adding another zero in back of a single family home. You know what I mean? So you can go ahead and turn around and wholesale to an end buyer. Okay. A retail buyer. And let's say, for instance, you go ahead, you, 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 sell it for let's say 10 grand you got it under contract for 7500 you turn around you sell it for 10 grand you made 2500 bucks profit what if you can do two or three of those a month and so these are five ways that you can make money with mobile home investing these are some phenomenal ways guys there's more ways than that i'm going to link some resources at the bottom you guys feel free to go ahead and check them out. Also, if you could, for me, go ahead and uh, click on that like button and subscribe button. And I have more tips to come, okay? This is Gerald. Have a good one.